He's got a strong wrist though, Cal. <laughs> I've known John from being nine years old when he came into Barnsley Academy. Very nice kid, lovely lad. Barnsley Football Club, I think it's renowned for tough tackling and resilience and hard work. And me and Mark had a, a good long look at the actual players that had come through Barnsley Academy and in fairness, the record weren't that great. So we thought, well, we've got to change things. If we're going to be successful, we're going to have to change things. It's Alba. He pulls it across and it's in. At the time, Barcelona were, were Barcelona and the way they played, no one else really played that particular style in Britain. Not a lot of teams anyway. The game was changing at the time. I thought the game was changing. Barnsley had to change, we had to change. Um, so the style of play changed. We had a great squad for our age group, which were quite technically gifted compared to some other groups at that, at that time. They wanted to implement their, this, this style of play and could see football was changing, and it, and it worked. We knew that we were going to make mistakes. It's never easy, and, and, and the way that they got it across to us and, and trained us on it, it's only done me good in my career, and, and that's where it started, really. Really bars the lad, born and bred. Is it extra special? Yeah, it's brilliant to play, uh, to be given that opportunity to play for my hometown. It's a dream come true, yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Academy Player of the Year, John Stones. With respect to the game changing, uh, good players adapt, good players take on uh, information, the manager's thoughts. You're not going to launch it up front. You're not going to just pump a long ball down the line because there's nobody there. So you're going to have to find a way out. And if you make mistakes, then mentally, where are you going to go? Because we're not going to ever go you. You're just going to have to deal with that. So how, how can you best deal with it? The days of going with centre half was the biggest kid on the field who just headed it, kicked it as far as he could, and everybody clapped him for being a good defender. I think now centre halves and, and all defenders are a lot more involved in, in playing football, on getting on the ball and starting attacks off, as well as being good defenders. John Stone had more personality than all of us here to wear in this room. More balls. KB gets it moving quickly, and Stone's oh! What a belter of a goal from John Stones! So and I like that play. I love it. Because it's not easy to play centre defender with this manager. It's not easy. I've been lucky enough to play with every manager that I've had. They've been gave me the confidence to go out and do it and let me go and do it. You know, I, I love learning new things in football, love a challenge, love to try and, you know, push myself to get better and you've got to um, try and take in as much as you can. Welcome to Match Day Live on this momentous occasion for Manchester City. The atmosphere is already building up, but it's been an incredible atmosphere here all day. The anticipation, the excitement of one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game in world football. So we just had a few seconds to digest the team news. At the back, uh, City are Edison, Diaz, Stones, Ake. John Stones doing his role out of possession, maybe dropping back into a mega back four in possession, going in to create that box in midfield. Could you imagine if at the start of the season we'd somehow got a little glimpse into the lineups for the Champions League final and you see John Stones in midfield, you'd be going, oh, come on, Pep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not again. again. The, the amazing thing with John Stones is that he was done. Pep's one of the few managers at top level football that gives players a second chance. Manchester City have the opportunity to make history tonight by winning the Champions League for the first time ever. The advantage of having set contacts outside your normal team and to see people in other contexts 
is usually the advantage of what we call the broker. A broker would be someone who liaises across groups that are otherwise disconnected. And when people liaise across those groups, they get exposed to different ways of doing things. That's what we say these people are better positioned to come up with innovations, uh, which is probably what happened to Guardiola. So usually the broker is someone who would see different type of football applied in different contexts and they know how much of it can be passed on to, to different contexts and what needs to be adapting. The game is underway, Manchester City going from right to left. For many, Manchester City are the best team in Europe. Tonight they again have the chance to have the trophy that proves it. If you look at the seasons we had together, there was not one season we played identically, you know, always little details um, changed. <laughs> Trying to play the same type of football for several years brings certain dangers with it. And I think having, you know, that, that little challenge from the manager leads to everyone being on the front foot. That's why he's probably the most innovative manager of probably more than the last decade. John Stones, brilliant from Stones. Bit of a space. Can it get to Gundogan? That was brilliant. He played like Maradona today. He just took the ball, went on three people and passed it somewhere else. He looks so comfortable just stepping in there. John Stones is the ghetto. He's the one who's stepping in and been able to find space. The only player who can find space. He is playing with a confidence and a belief in himself that I've never seen him play with. He is as close to achieving perfection on the football pitch as you'll ever see. John Stones is the trigger. If he can get beyond the lines, that's when we can open them up. Bernardo Silva, round the back! Rodri! Congratulations, can you quite believe what you've just done? No. Um, I'm not usually someone who gets uh, emotional, but I don't know. Uh, just to see what this team's done, uh, what we've gone through. Uh, yeah, I can't put it into words to be honest. What a feeling. What a feeling. Trevor winner, a Champions League winner. Just give me one final thought of what, what you're feeling. What does that sound like to you? Oh, it's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm buzzing. Manchester City are the champions of Europe. What the manager has, uh, what he has done for, for the team, for the club. For me, my personally, uh, he helped me so much and he deserves everything. It's just saying he's so happy for me and I just said thank you to him. Best manager in the world and there's nothing more to say.